President Trump greeted Russian President Vladimir Putin as they posed for a group photo ahead of the ASEAN-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Da Nang, Vietnam, on Friday. AFP Vietnam news agency Getty Images Hanoi, President Trump on Sunday ridiculed North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un as short and fat, and he lashed out at critics of his relationship with Russia's leader, saying they are haters and fools who don't understand the merits of a good relationship with Moscow. The morning tweet storm came as Trump prepared for bilateral meetings with Vietnamese leaders, including a scheduled news conference where he could face more questions about the topics he addressed on Twitter. Trump's taunt of Kim came after the North Korean leader again called him a dotard, a term describing an old person who is losing his mental faculties. Trump, 71, sarcastically responded that he hopes one day to be friends with Kim, who oversees a developing nuclear weapons and ballistic missile arsenal. Trump also returned to a favorite theme of bashing critics who have accused him of being soft on Russia in the wake of special counsel Robert S. Mueller III's ongoing investigation into his campaign's ties to Russian officials and possible attempts at collusion. Trump has denied that his campaign coordinated in any way with Moscow during last year's presidential campaign, and he said Saturday that Russian President Vladimir Putin again denied any involvement in trying to influence the U.S. elections when Trump spoke with him at a regional summit in Da Nang, Vietnam. On Twitter, Trump also slammed President Barack Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for failing to improve relations with Russia. The president's remarks in a wide-ranging talk with reporters on Air Force One en route to Hanoi on Saturday and in his Sunday morning tweets have sharply punctured the careful messaging he and his aides had sought to deliver on a five-nation, 12-day trip through Asia. Trump will travel to Manila on Sunday evening for two days of regional conferences and a bilateral meeting with Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte.